Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of G Team Outdoors. Um, today, drastic change of scenery. A long ways from Southern California, we are on uh, Lake Gunnersville in Alabama. Gonna be doing a little bit of pre-fishing for the Trail Series Championship and the Challenge Championship of kayak bass fishing. So we're, I mean, fishing's been tough, I heard. Uh, but we're gonna give it our all. We're gonna see what we can do. And uh, very excited to be out on this lake. Bucket list lake for me. So we're gonna see what we could do. Shout out to uh, Fluke Master Gene Jensen and uh, Fishing with Norby. Saw them this morning. And uh, yeah, let's get it on. Holy crap. Dad, I'm on a giant. <laughs> what is this? Well, boys, talking on the phone with my father and I hooked up on, this has got to be a decent bass because this thing is pulling hard. I hope it's not a drum. It's fighting like a bass. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Holy smokes. That's a good fish. Holy crap. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's a good spotty right there. It's like a two pound spot. Hey, I'm gonna FaceTime you on my other phone. All right. Okay, bye. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, 1625, that is my first Lake Gunners Bill Bass, a spotty. See you later, dude. Shoo. I don't think this guy will measure, but I'll check him. Mm. Yeah, this guy will actually measure. So, we're in a little tournament. I'm gonna check him out. <sighs> Crazy, man. Burly, burly 12 inches. Stretch your little tail right there for me, little buddy. <laughs> Second Gunnersville bass is a nice little 12. Holy crud, that guy was ready to go. Call me a freaking starving crappie, dude. This, I mean, he's not that bad. That's nuts. Crazy. You gonna take off or what? Half inch limit. Hey, 
may I'll take it. I will take it. That's illegal. I wonder if that guy came out of a rock. He's pretty dark. 12 and a half. Heading back to the ramp. Uh, I, don't know, I think I only caught like six fish today and lost maybe two. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I mean, it's pre-fishing. Uh, I screwed up and I don't have a chart of this lake. So, I mean, I could look at my phone at the Navionics map. But uh, as for just looking down at the fish finder and uh, referencing from the chart to where I'm at, I uh, can't do that at this lake. But um, we're going to go look for new water tomorrow or this afternoon. I don't know if I'm going to go out this afternoon. Uh, probably. Uh, but fish. This whole bridge, or this not bridge, this riprap area. And uh, all the way to that point. And I have, a, I have a limit of 70 and a half, I think. I don't know, I'll put a link. Actually, I'll just add up all of uh, the fish that I've caught. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I know I haven't been posting a lot. I've been messing up. Uh, huge shout out to my sponsors, uh, Johnson Outdoors, uh, Old Town, the guys that uh, make this kayak that I'm in. Super stable. I mean, if you, if you guys want to be able to, I know my big thing when I was getting a kayak was that I wanted to be able to stand up in it and sight fish because I love sight fishing at Putting Stone in California and uh, this thing you could do it in. Another huge shout out to Dakota Lithium. They, we just teamed up. They are now uh, my next or my new sponsor. So if you guys want to go check out some uh, lithium ion batteries, uh, lighter than lead acid and uh, they last forever. I mean, this trip, we drove from California to Tennessee, then Alabama, and we were charging like our laptops and um, I mean, anything we wanted to on the power box. This power box that I got back here. Oh, where you at? That bad boy. And uh, I mean, it's been running my GoPro all day. I don't know if I got any shots on that because that's the first time that I've used that uh, Yakisak Boom Pro. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I'm glad to be out on Gunnersville, ready to find some new water and see what else we could do. So, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Go check out Johnson Outdoors uh, if you guys are looking for any kayaks and uh, right, canoes also. And check out Dakota Lithium for power banks like that. That guy is awesome. I have a 23 amp hour for, to run my fish finders and stuff. And then I'll be getting, I believe, 100 amp hour to run the Minn Kota on the autopilot. So, I mean, great companies. Huge thank you to them. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time on G-Team Outdoors.